Greetings everyone, hello and welcome back once more to, to Stranded Alien Dawn and yeah, we are back on Sobrius, Ember, Jack, Quinn and Rita after we have survived the crash a couple of days ago, it is day 4 right now and we are settling in because we have the bleak reality that we're probably going to stay here for quite some time. Amber right now is finishing the construction of the fence over there, right? So this side here is now completed as well. It's not looking so bad, a bit of space there. And in this case here, we have then the beautiful lake as well that we can use later on. And in this case here, I'm going to keep those bushes just because it keeps me warm <laughs> having a bit of stuff here. We should probably though really get rid of these bushes there because aliens that attack then through this corridor, yeah, well, they can hide in that and we definitely should not allow that to happen. Now, meanwhile, Rita? He's really trying to do everything. Rita is crafting right now. Does Rita even like crafting though? And she's not really good at that as well. So we're going to once again also go with Rita here right away. Crafting, no can do please. You are not in for the job, right? It's Chak and that's Chak only. For now that is going to do the crafting. He likes it too and off he goes again with it. Um, hopefully gaining more points with that. Rita and Amber continue with the fence. It's still my biggest project at the moment that we need to finish before anything else. We don't have a lot of metal there as well. Oh, Jack reached crafting too. That's great. The higher the crafting skill, the more things he can actually craft, the faster and the better, of course. Um, yeah, and he's going to eat once again. Now, we still have two unarmed civilians. Um, I think we have another yeah spear now ready, so we can actually arm then the third one, probably Quinn out of them. And in this case, it's night again. Day four is over almost. We are researching now the synthetics as well that we can then have. This is actually something we prepare for winter, getting synthetics out um, and crafting with it. Now, I would also like to have a look at my food again. We have lots of meat in right now. The raw insect meat, actually, I don't want to use for cooking anymore. So I'm also going to say now here, we're going to use the, the meat soup there, right? And do not use, please, raw insects on that. Oops, sorry. Wait, wait, wait a second. It's this one here, right? Do not use my raw insect meat. We want to use this only now then for the synthetics. It actually, I think, has a nice, a nice durability. It is, yeah, under the roof eight days, so this will be fine. It's eight of them, so by then we actually will have this ready and crafting. Now, um, next up on the list is some observations. So we're still scavenging this. Yes, we are. Um, some observations we want to get started with that. So we got a few plants that are really useful, that are going to be really useful, like the tall leafy plant there for us. I'm going to observe this. This will hopefully make us something because it looks like grain. We're coming from Earth and on Earth it looks like that. And I would like to have a look at that. Another thing we probably want to do is getting some vegetables on the way at some point. Um, and for that, we need to have a close look here at the map itself. And probably, probably there is something, right? There's actually two things here. These berries there, looks like berries to me, peculiar bush. And then we have this one here, looks like pumpkins, right? And pumpkins are juicy. So let's also start observing those pumpkins there. This is once again going to take a while, right? Before all of this is going to work then. Another thing I would like to do is these peculiar bushes there. This is looking like a cotton plant, right? Like we might have some cloth on this one. Let's also start observing the bright leaf plant. So this is now three observations we're doing. Anyone with the intellect available can do this, right? And we can also, once again, assign someone to this for observing. And let's just have a look. Mm, Ember is not bad at this. And also Quinn is not bad at this. Uh, Rita can also do it if she's got no cooking and no planting and no harvesting. So then she can also go for this one at, as well. And Jack is not going to do this at all. He really has to focus on other things. Ah, uh, aren't they you looking cute? Uh, my babies. All four of them sleeping happily right now. Day five it is. And a new day is dawning. It's just nice how the sun is shining onto the bats right away. There it is. That's a nice view when waking up, right? Waking up with the sun. Rita's going to cook again. We still have two soups available. And then we still have 34 meat available as well. That is still spoiling already. So it might be nice to really just get us some more dead animals out there. So let's just check it out. This looks dead. Very good. Looks like a duck or a swan or something like that. An alien swan. And then we might actually find us something over here. Oh, this is also looking really ripe and juicy. 
squash like plant there once more but we are already observing that there is another bloated insect I wonder why it's bloated I uh, I actually I don't want to know <laughs> so let's not let's not get too close to this uh I think though that's it for now perfect and as we can see Rita is now observing and I think Quinn is going to continue researching perfect Ember is also observing now the tall leafy plants looks like corn actually And the butchering was successful, as we can see, Jack is bringing home some more meat. Let's bring it in. Uh, 43 on the wood. Do we still chop down some trees? Yes, we are. Jack is continu uh, continuing with the butchering. And then I would also like to continue now with harvesting some more trees. Or, yeah, chopping them down. There it is. Those evergreen trees will not be evergreen anymore. Also, we have rain right now. People don't like it when they're in the rain. Sometimes you just have to go with it. It's warm at least, 19 degrees. No danger of getting sick. And there it is. Ember made a, a breakthrough and she discovered grain cob. This is something we can use to harvest grain. Small hard dry seeds used for cooking or in the production of medicines, oils and other items. Fail to chance is actually pretty high by 30% at farming zero. However, we have Rita for the task, and we can also fertilize this one here. It is having a pretty high temperature tolerance, negative 2 to 50 degrees, so we can definitely use it during heat waves, um, and we can even lose it, use it all the way into autumn. And this is then my first plant that we can actually work with. Now, we just need to have a proper first location for that farming area, and I think there is a lot of space here, and I'm probably also not going to expand in this area. There is also option here. Here is the, the advantage that we have a lot of space that we don't need to cut down like here, right? So let's actually go for this one as my first farming area. And we can start with the grain crop then. And as we can see, soil is also for 100% growth in this area. Same goes like this one here. So that's a very good area for the first farming. And let's just make us some flat field here. Actually, let's make it a bit bigger. Something like that. You cannot endlessly make it big, right? This would be the max size. Uh, let's go a bit smaller so that we can have another one then right next to this one here. There you go. This is looking fantastic. And Rita, as we know, she has this activity. So Rita, harvesting, you're number one with that. I'm um, ranching, you're number one. Planting, ranching, cutting. No, no, that's, that's fine. So she should actually be going for it once she's done. And there she is done with the next plant that we have and that's the cloth blossom <laughs> the cloth blossom yeah well this one is actually something that we can use it has 20 percent growth rating during rain and it is harvestable and yields me then cloth and yeah let's go ahead and do this with that we can harvest it we're only going to take the cloth we're not cutting down the whole plant then oh the yellow one is also a cloth blossom i wonder what's the difference between the yellow and the white one um i think the white one is generally the good one Oh, the white, the, the yellow one is the withering one, you, lo using losing health. So this is actually something that's going down right now. All right, do we have any more animals? There's lots of debris here, lots of broken trees. Uh, that's it though for the moment. All right, it is day five and there seems to be another survivor. My name is Ken Lau. I believe we met on the ship. My escape pod crashed badly and everyone else died. I fended on my own as best as I could, but my rations ran out quickly and I started losing hope. I walked in the wild for days after seeing smoke from this direction. Please let me stay with you. Of course, Ken. I do know you. Yeah, I guess I do know you. Welcome to the camp. And with that, we have survivor number five. Ah, he's... He's very interested in combat, so that's actually something. He's also interested in crafting. This will be helpful for us. Uh, the rest is rather mediocre. And do you have equipment? He's got one synthetic legging, right? So this is probably the best equipment you can have for a while. And the rest is just normal spaceship jacket and spaceship uh, boots and stuff like that. All right. He will definitely also need a sleeping spot. It's not so bad finding a survivor on day 5. Just coming to us. We can also find them via expeditions and missions. So that was actually a nice surprise getting another survivor in so early. But of course, it doesn't necessarily make the game easier. Because we do have another mouth to feed. And we do need to provide more space overall. 
So I will probably also... Nah, we can still stay with the four there. Because it's unlikely that everybody eats at the same time. Um, and we can always have then more being cooked. Where's Rita? Ah, she's harvesting. Perfect. That's her... Speciality. It looks like she's destroying the bushes though. Rita? Rita, what are you doing? She's destroying the bushes, isn't she? Yes. I didn't say cut it down. Hmm. It's all gone. I thought it would only be harvested. Alright. Hmm. Problem. Because these are rather finite, right? So we don't have a lot of them. Uh, 100 cloth it is, though. Amber continues with the squash-like plant. Perfect. And Queen continues with the researching. Ken is now going to cut because Ken is also good with physical stuff. And Jack is sleeping. Yeah, he deserves it. Alright, for Ken, actually, let's go in and just say... I know he's good at shooting and stuff like that, but he should also be a crafter because he's interested in that. It's going to be his number one priority for this. Um, I really just want to wanna get him there up to speed with, with crafting. Having two crafters is actually going to be quite nice. Yeah, as we can see, we don't have a lot of pastime yet. Arita is taking a walk. And this actually makes her happy for now. Had a pleasant walk. But it's not going to last for that much longer. So we do need to also work on leisure activities. I only have one for now, the shooting target. This is used for relaxation. And the good thing is it also grants combat experience. So we probably should have this rather sooner. And yeah, let's have it a bit further away from everything. Probably over here by the crash. There yeah, we have a bit of space. And they can then target and practice shooting from here. They can do it in the open, from above the ground, or below the ground, and from the bushes, right? So I think this is a good <laughs> testing ground for this activity. All right, by the looks of it, by now we have actually finished the fence. Very good. So we have now a rather strange looking defense all around us, yeah, according to the terrain, right? Uh, we cannot build it on the on the hills, so that's okay. And a little corridor where the animals and aliens can then attack. We have also discovered the buttermelon now. This local vine plant gives large edible fruits, which have tough peel. It reminds me of pumpkins and melons, so we'll call it buttermelon. Ripe buttermelons can be harvested and cooked. They might have some other good uses too. Perfect. And Rita actually already started working on that field. Not very efficiently so yet. <laughs> she planted one... One plant there. And then she's going off again. Yeah, I'm, I I don't know what I think about Rita so far. She's good cooking, I guess. Eh, I mean, people eat it. Right. She's not really high on cooking yet. Level 2. It's 5 o'clock in the morning. And once again, we have some very strange sleeping cycles here right now. So a lot of people are staying through the night. While others are going to, to sleep during daytime. And yeah. Alright, Jack continues with the scavenging. Super important, we need more metal, and this is the only source of metal we can have right now. And very good, there it is. Jack actually looted 49 metal raw, or scrap metal that is. We can use this right away to build traps. Uh, they need the scrap metal. And traps stun and hurt animals that go through here that are hostile, right? So we definitely should start with that. Uh, let's go with a row of 3 for 36 scrap metal. And actually since we have it, we could go ahead with another 2 rows up there. Once again, this is going to take a while. Alright, we have the cloth now, right? Didn't? Yeah, we have cloth. That means we can also start now with making a bow. Very important, another ranged weapon. Let's make it two times. And there's Ken with more wood again that we are also going to need, of course. Alright, Jack continues with crafting a bow. Very important to get some more experience points with that. We need it then for the higher items later on. And Ember builds now the shooting target. It's no surprise that she's doing it. She loves to shoot. Unfortunately, only Jack can use this at the moment since he's the only one with a ranged weapon. But we're working on bows already.
Alright, the fields are growing with more green. Um, I would actually like to work on something else, and that's the cloth blossom. We're actually going to need a bit of that later on the road for beds and stuff like that. We don't need a huge amount of it, right? But still, I should get me some on the way. Let's go ahead and just have another field then up there. How many slots do we actually have this one? So there it is. And then we can have another one, and that is the buttermelon that we can also now go with. And this is actually requiring two fields every time right so we can actually still go ahead with that oh an unknown parasite is causing me fatigue and drowsiness for now there is no cure but a skilled healer may be able to think of something all right doesn't sound good jack has a sleep parasite can we see this already he's in a mild pain and there's a sleep parasite and it causes him to have negative 10% rest from a full sleeping cycle. So he gets a weaker and weaker more or less, so sleepier and sleepier, the longer this actually lasts. Let's also go in with a buttermelon field. Traps are coming along, so this will make our life a lot easier with the next attack. I hope Jack also has the first boat and finished. Quinn is still researching the Chitin synthetics that we are going to need. How much more for the raw insect meat? Ah, 80%. So it still will last us quite some time there. And there it is, a new bow and Jack reached crafting level 3. Thus he becomes faster and better with it. He is immediately continuing with the next bow. Perfect. And we have another ranged weapon, and Ember is going to be that. Yeah, she's actually scavenging right now, and at 99% she abandoned it for going to sleep. Uh, let's equip the bow there, please. She now has a spear and a bow then, so you can have two weapons. So she's ready to take on anything. And day 6 is coming to an end. Another day is dawning. Uh, we have now several sleep parasites, unfortunately. So oh, Ember also has it. Uh, Quinn has it. Rita has it. Not really ideal. So we definitely will need to work on a cure. I think also there was a an animal bleeding. Yep. This big horde animal is getting attacked by the ducks. And it's probably dying because of that. It's fleeing. We'll just see how long it lasts. It's bleeding now. So this might be my next food running around here. There is another dead one though. Now we actually also scavenge some more cloth, so I don't need to, well, harvest those plants all the time. And another thing I would like to do is, can we actually harvest the grain there? No, unfortunately not. Yeah, only some of it, right? Not all of it has fully or is fully grown. These here are, and we can get some grain out of that. So we don't really rely that much on butchering anymore as before, because we can also just live with grain and buttermelons and stuff like that. Or Spring and summer, right, where it's growing. In winter, that's a different a different thing entirely. Uh, since we get the grain in then, can I already go ahead with? No, not yet. Alright, also some more medicine. Perfect. And I think Quinn is about to finish now also Chitin Synthetics. That's going to be another very nice breakthrough. And he also reached level 5 with it. Tailoring another 12 hours. And then we can actually get started with that as well right away. And there it is, synthetics out of insect meat. And let's do this until we have, yeah, 200 fabrics or 200 synthetics actually out of this. There's also the green crop coming in now from Rita. So now we can actually go in and also make grain porridge. With a bit of chocolate, this might be delicious. And we are going to do this until we have three of that. Right, so I just want to have the grain. That's the cool thing about it. It's super durable, right? So under a roof, it will last a full year. So if we start stockpiling grain now, it will actually already bring us through winter because it will just last this long. But of course, we need quite, quite the amount of it. All right, there's also some alloys coming in. By the way, we also have now the stone that I wanted. And with that, we can now start with the furnaces. And this will make sure that we can turn scrap metal into metal alloys. And we're going to need them too at some point later. So let's just have them, yeah, somewhere here. A bit further away, perhaps. Let's make two of them for now, so we can, we can do this quickly. And 
and everybody is now at work once more. Meanwhile, Jack has also finished the first synthetic textiles. Very good, we're going to need quite a bit of that. This is also a good way of training the crafting skill. Do we have another bow? Yeah, we have another bow. Ken, you can equip it. Where's Ken? Ah, he's actually already tending to the furnace. So that we are now starting to produce metal alloys out of that. It's going to take quite some time here, right? The, the smelting process. Equip the spear, Ken. And you should also equip the, the bow. The bow and the spear. There you go. Because he's a good fighter. He's got two weapons now as well. Now we have some grain porridge as well, very important, because food variety adds to happiness. And we want to keep those people happy, right? We don't want to have them too low on the mood, otherwise they will have a meltdown, or even a breakdown. And this will lead to lasting psychological uh, neg uh, well, disadvantages. Hmm, for my next attack, we might actually look into wooden fortifications that we can use them against the incoming uh, alien attacks. Uh, I think also antibiotics. We still have lots of medicine, 21, so it's not super urgent at this point. Let's work on the fortifications after the tailoring. Also, I should probably look into my, my fence here and give me some fence doors so my people can also exit. So let's have another fence door here, right? And let's have another fence door on the other side as well. So that people can actually exit from both of these sides there um, and don't have to go all around it all the time. Tailoring has been researched. So with this, we have another workbench available, the tailor bench. Let's go ahead and give this in there as well right away. Tack has once again scavenged, and this time he found something new, and that is fuel. Fuel is pretty good, because we can use it in a generator for electricity. We can also use it for uh, flamethrowers and flame turrets as a defense purpose, for defense purposes. But this is something that we will definitely be able to use then long-term-wise. Might be a way to actually produce it ourselves as well, but we'll find out later. Everybody's busy right now. Also constructing some fence doors. And yeah, since we're pretty low on stone, let's also continue cutting down some stone whenever someone has the time for it. Stone is not that far away. I think, yeah, Jack is already going for the mining. Off he goes. Rita is idling. She's not so bad with observing, so we can continue with observing. There is white leaf plants. Looks like you might be able to smoke these. Let's have a look at them and observe. It's not that far anyway. Amber, meanwhile, continues to scavenge. This is the last time we can scavenge the landing pod for now. So after that, uh, we will need to research before we can dig deeper. And there it is. Once again, some metal. And yeah. Oh, Quinn has a risk of meltdown. He's crushingly unhappy because he's super hungry. And yeah, well, you just need to eat something. But with all that researching, he forgets to eat. He was also angered by Ken, so unfortunately those two, I don't think, come along that much, uh, that well. So that should make him a bit happier again, there you go. Also intellect, yeah, there it is, and happiness grows again. Amber is idling right now, she's done with the scavenging. Uh, we can have a look at the other debris, so we have one spaceship debris here and one actually super close. Let's scavenge this one here, this is actually two, no it's one, this is one huge debris that we can also start scavenging. Jack brings in the stone. The fields are growing. It's day eight. A good season is upon us with lots of harvests. We should though prepare for the winter by soon starting building a house. And where's that next alien attack coming in? We'll find out in the next episode of Stranded Alien Dawn.